Hello everyone, Pokepluff here for another live Pokemon Showdown wa er, uh, battle, and I know I said last video that um, that would be the last time I did an LC match, but I decided to do one more, and then I will retire this team and do a different tier probably. I'm thinking of maybe doing NU or RU. I'm pretty unfamiliar with both of those tiers actually, but I also might go into familiar grounds with OU and UU, which are the tiers I play the most in. Um, so... Yeah, I'll, I haven't decided which one I'll do yet, but if you guys want a specific tier, let me know. Or a specific Pokemon, also let me know. And I'm going to go over the team. I change, It's pretty much the same team as the last two battles, except Tortuga is no longer. I have blah, I have changed him with a uh, Fletchling named Robin. Um, he, you know, this is a kind of standard set. Except I didn't do the Swords Dance. He's kind of a mixed attacker with Acrobatics, Roost, U-Turn, and Overheat. So because of that, he has some special attack investment and a lot of attack invest investment. Also some HP and defense and a little bit of speed. And I keep forgetting to save these, so they're always on level 100 and I have to change that every video. And then there's Furry, the... Drillbur making his reappearance, and he's holding the Eviolite with Mold Breaker, and then he has Rapid Spin, Earthquake, Poison Jab, and Stealth Rock. He has most, he's an offensive spinner, as I've mentioned in previous videos. He has a lot of attack investment, a little bit of defense, and speed with some HP. Then there is Ploofy, the Spritzy, physically defensive, and as I learned last video, this is also a check to, um, to Fletchling because he can take at least three acrobatics and kill the opposing Fletchling with a Moonblast. So he is also holding Eviolite to make him as bulky as possible and then he's also the Cleric and the Wish Passer with the with Moonlight or Moonblast as being his only attacking move and mostly invested in, spe in defense a little bit of special defense with a little bit of special attack and um, HP too. Then there's Stellar, the Bronzor. He is our dual screen setter with Reflect, Light Screen, and then Flash Cannon and Psychic. He also has Heat Proof as his ability to take on those fire type attacks. Then Slither, the Choice Scarf Contrary Snivy, which put in a lot of work the first episode, um, but not so much on the second. I didn't play him the best on the second video. So he he uh, was out pretty early in the game, and he didn't get a lot of screen time, but he did make huge holes in the opposing team in the first video. And then there's Pom Pom, the a uh, Apom, which has also put in a lot of work in this team, and I usually start out with him to get the fake out off in the U-turn, so I can get a little bit of damage without taking any of myself, and he's um, speedy. He has speed investment, attack investment, and then HP, and he has Eviolite instead of Life Orb, so he can take some hits before going down. And then Skill Ink, of course, being the um, ability of choice. So, you know, before, before I do anything, I'm just going to back up this team really quickly. That way I don't have to keep resetting it to um, level 5 every time I play. Gonna try to find an LC match. Where's my oh? There's my little cut team, and I'm looking for a battle. Hopefully, we'll find one somewhat soon. Um, but you never know with Little Cup because it's not as commonly played as the other tiers. But yeah. And as I've said in other videos, if anyone wants to battle me on Showdown, feel free, and I will definitely battle you. And he has a Torchic, which will probably be a baton passing set, as most of them are. And he has this as a defogger, and then this for entry hazards. So I think I'm going to go with Pom Pom here as our usual lead. He also has Toxic Spikes and that. Actually, he has two Rapid Spinners. He might try to Toxic Spike us right now, actually. But I'm just going to go for the Fake Out. Get some pressure off that. Um, it's a Shiny Tentacruel. Tentacool. I really like using Tentacruel in UU actually as a rapid spinner because it's pretty um, bulky on the special side, special defensive side. And it's also a pretty reliable rapid spinner, but he can't take many like um, physical attacks unless he's invested in physical defense, at least Tentacruel. 
So we'll see what he wants to go for here. Maybe toxic spikes? Or actually, just kidding, we won't even know because I went out for or I went for fake out. So he uh, will just flinch that turn and he doesn't have any ghost types, so something's going to take damage. Um and I'm kind of tempted to just go for fury swipes actually, and I think I'm just gonna do that. Cause I mean he has scald, but we might be able to take him out. As we do take out the Tentacruel, Tentacool, I keep saying Tentacruel, so he won't be able to get uh, Toxic Spikes, or in, that's one of his Rapid Spinners gone, if that carried Rapid Spin. There's always the uh, Volibi for Toxic, I mean for um, Defog, and those are also really bulky Pokemon, especially with the Eviolite. Eviolite just makes everything so bulky, and in Little Cup, everything really carries Eviolite because that's one of the best um, items to carry on this. And there's not much I can do to this. Pharaoh Seed doesn't really mind Thunder Wave because it's already so slow. So he might go try to go for. I will take some Iron Barb damage, but I'm just going to U turn out into my uh, Drill Burr actually. Because as U-Turn does more than I expected it to do, to be honest. And he is holding the Rocky Helmet, which is good information to have. So we take <laughs> we take almost as much damage as we give him. As he does go for the Stealth Rocks, and I'm just going to go for the EQ here. And none of his other Pokemon really scare me. Um, I mean for Drill Burr, so I, unless he sends out Whalmer. But I'll get off the Rapid Spin on whatever my next Pokemon is. I don't really want to take... Um, all that damage from Rapid Spin, as he does just switch out, and that was a good, that was a good move on his part. Um, I'm gonna Rapid Spin these rocks away now, though. I don't really know what he could touch me with, except Foul Play. Uh, Foul Play will actually do a lot if he has that, because my attack is so high. So Foul Play will do, Foul Play will do a sizable chunk, but at least I can get these rocks out of the way. Um, I don't really want to set up my own because this thing carries the fog and I do not have the um, rock slide so that w I won't be able to really touch this unless I go for a poison jab and I guess I don't really need drill burr for anything else so I could just go for poison jabs and kind of hope for the poison before this thing goes down but if he does set up on pharaoh seed then we um like, we won't be able to rapid spin those away, but I can always take care of that with Fletchling and an Overheat. So I'm not too scared. I get rid of those rocks as he does a lot of damage with that knockoff. It is stab, so that, yeah. I'm just going to go for a poison jab, I think, and hope for the, um, hope for the, just I'm just going to let this thing go down and hope for the poison, which I haven't had much luck in getting. I had another battle, which was really stally. Oh my gosh, I had like eight poison jabs in a row, and I didn't get the poison on anything. And I, I kind of, that was not so fun for us, but I wasn't able to upload that video. It um, had some technical errors in it. But we do get the poison first try, which is great for us. I didn't see what he went in for. Oh, he went in for the U-turn, so he'll switch out first, and then we'll be able to pick our Pokemon depending on what he picks out. So, yep, that'll be good for us. He might try to go back into Pharaoh Seed now that my um, now that my spinner is gone, and he probably knows that that is my spinner. So if he does do that, I'm just gonna go into Fletchling and overheat it. He won't be able to get anything off on me or any like entry hazards set up. So I'm pretty confident in going going into that. And to be honest. Fletchling might be able to take care of the rest of his team as he does go into Torchic. Um, I'm just going to go into Pom Pom in case this thing has a focus at. She's going to try to pass something off. Maybe to the Mianfu, which would be kind of scary actually. But I could easily take that out with Fletchling if he does because I have the Gale, um, the Gale Wings. So I would have priority and I could just take that out in one hit. Unless it's Focus Sash, but I, Mianfu usually don't run Focus Sash. They're usually Scarfed or Banded or Life Orb. I like to go for the Banded variety, but it does so much damage. Even the U-turn just it takes things out. So I like Banded, but as he goes for the Protect, probably predicting the Fake Out, which is fine. He will get the Speed Boost off. And I'm kind of tempted to Thunder Wave him, but 
These are usually aren't really offensive anyways. He's just going to try to pass something off. So I'm just going to go for Fury Swipes, as he might go for a Substitute. Um, I've seen a lot of Torchics run Substitute. The the sets for Torchic are usually, they're all really the same. They're all baton passing sets. So the only Pokemon I can really see him trying to baton pass into, though, is Mianfu, because that's an offensive, a huge offensive presence, as he does just go for the Swords Dance. And he'll probably want to baton pass here, as he has the Berry Juice. Um, I don't know, he might want to baton pass. So because of that, I'm kind of I kind of want to go for Thunder Wave, because after seeing that damage, I don't know if he's gonna want to stay in. So I'm gonna Thunder Wave and see if he switches or baton passes, and I'll be able to cripple whatever he does decide to do. As he just goes for Flame Charge. So I mean, at least I'll move first next time. But we do get the Paralyze off. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for uh, Fake Out. No, Fury Swipes. I don't know why I said Fake Out. Fury Swipes, which will do a sizable chunk of damage, and we will go first because he is paralyzed. I was kind of hoping he would baton pass, because if he would have done that in the Mianfu, we would have um, we would have really crippled that. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to move first. But like I said, I can pretty much take care of that with Fletchling pretty easily because of the amazing ability that is Gale Wings. As he's paralyzed and can't move, which is really... <laughs> Unfortunate for him, so I'm just going to U-turn out of here and uh, get the kill off of that. And, um, I feel pretty safe to go into Robin here. Because that should be able to take out a lot of his remaining Pokemon. He might go into Pharaoh Seed or Whalmer. He's not going to want to go into Mianfu for sure. And I don't know if he'll be predicting the overheat because most Fletchling run Swords Dance. Because uh, Swords Dance, Acrobatic, Scale Wings, Fletchy, Fletchling is scary. As he does go into the Pharaoh Seed thinking that all I have is Acrobatic. So I'm just going to KO that with a um, Overheat. And we'll still be able to keep this in because um, since I'm a physical attacker, that special attack drop won't bother me a lot. And he might go for a forfeit here or they might stay in. I'm not sure. But... I'll be able to get the rest of his team with Fletchling, or I'll be able to do a lot of damage as he just goes in for this, which I'm just going to Acrobats, and I don't know if Acrobats will kill this because it's so bulky, but the poison, with the poison damage and the Acrobatics, we should be able to take it out this turn. It might get one hit off, um, but even if it knocks us knocks off, we have no item, so at least it won't get the boost from that. And we don't kill it, but it does go for the knockoff, which brings us to about half. So I'm just, I feel pretty, I'm just going to go into another acrobatics, and that will take that off. Take that out, I mean. And I'm, I think he's going to want to go into Whalmer. Um, just because he's not going to want to go into Mianfu unless he wants to sacrifice that right off the bat. But yeah. <laughs> As he actually does decide to, maybe it's Focus Sash? It's possible. Like, you don't really see Focus Sash Mianfu. As, oh, he has Fake Out. That's probably why he went into it. It didn't do as much damage as maybe he was hoping for it to do. But, I yeah, I'm just going to go for Acrobatics. That'll take this out. And then all we have is the Whalmer. And we can easily take that out with Snivy. So... I'm feeling pretty confident in this win, as that does take that out in one hit. And since it was running Fake Out, it probably wasn't a Choice Scarf, or Choice Band, or an I didn't see Life Orb damage, so I'm actually not sure what kind of set that was running. Maybe it was just Eviolite Mianfu, which could be a, it could be a thing because you get the added bulk. So, yeah, I've never really seen, I don't know what other, um item it would have, maybe berry juice, as he does go into Whalmer here, and um, I'm just going to roost. Actually, I probably should have uh, gone for the, um, I should have gone for the Gale, or er, for the um, acrobatics there. I was feeling kind of, um, I, w I was thinking we could take a hit, but we can't, not with Water Spout, when this thing at full health. 
But we can, I don't know if one, um, if one, if one Lee Storm will be able to take this out, but two definitely will, especially since we got that special attack boost. And we miss, which kind of actually really sucks because we take a lot of damage from that Water Spout and Whalmer. Water Spout is a really good move, but we kill that in one hit. Um, and yeah, we won the battle. I'll give him a good game, especially because he played it through all the way. And we're going to look for another battle here. Hopefully we can secure another win. Ladder climb a little bit, but I am moving to another tier after this battle. So I'll probably do about three videos in each tier with each team. I might make little changes here and there, depending on how, they, how well they do. But we find another battle. And... He has a threatening team, actually. He has a Mianfu, um, a, I'm think I can't think of the name of this, Archon, and then a Pawniard, which I've actually had some problems with Pawniard. They can be really strong. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I want to start out with, actually. I'll probably go for Pom, -Pom. He seems to be our dedicated lead, as he does go for the Dwebble. Which has sturdy, uh, we can break this thing sturdy though with fake out, as he might predict that because fake out is really common on AP bomb, or APOM, and he might go into Pumpkaboo to take that and he won't take any damage. But I, he just decides to stay in, and I'm going to U turn out at this point as he probably will set up rocks, which I can just rapid spin away with my drill burr, furry the drill burr. Um, U-turn does a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting that much. I could also just start, like, setting up with Snivy, which is very tempting. But that Pumpkaboo, um, hmm. I might do that, because he's going to set up rocks here, and he does have a spin blocker. So, I think I'm just going to go into Snivy, actually. And we'll see if we can start getting some boosts off, as he does go for the Stealth Rock, as predicted. And I'm just going to go into the Leaf Storm. He might want to switch here. I don't know if he really wants to save this Dwebble. Because all they really do is set up Stealth Rocks, and then their job is done. But if he does leave it in, we should be able to kill it in one hit. We'll get the special attack. He'll probably switch in Pumpkaboo, I'm guessing, after that. Because um, Pumpkaboo will be able to take that very well. So we'll see what he wants to go in on, or what he wants to do. And we are going to start the timer. Um, <laughs> as that does get us the kill, as expected. And we do get the special attack raise. So I'm kind of expecting Pumpkaboo, or maybe Pawniard for a Sucker Punch. A Sucker Punch might just take us out, to be honest, because Snivy's super frail. Especially in Little Cup, and a uh, boosted Sucker Punch is so strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Stab Boosted Sucker Punch is really strong. He's thinking about his move here. I really think his best play would go would be going into Pumpkaboo or Ponyard, because Mianfu won't take an attack, Staryu won't take an attack. I'm faster than Archon. Archon might be able to, but I'm not sure because we are at plus two. And, um, yeah, we're at plus two, so, and Leaf Storm is incredibly strong. It's like base 110 or something. And it has pretty good accuracy. It does have that 10% chance to miss, which has backfired on us a few times, but we, um, yeah, we should be able to be okay. And he is taking a long time. He might be, I'm... Um, We'll see if he... Maybe he just... Nope, he does. Okay, he's probably going to go for the Sucker Punch. Would be my guess. Hmm. Um. And I kind of would like to save this thing for later. So, I'm going to go into Apom. Predicting the Sucker Punch. As he goes for Knockoff instead... Uh, that was a good play. I wasn't expecting a knockoff. I was really expecting the Sucker Punch, and we actually might have been able to take him out if I would have left Snivy in. 
But I wanted to play safe because I wanted Snivy for later. Um, it would be helpful against that star you, and then he lets us get the fake out. And I'm kind of tempted to be honest to just thunder wave this thing to at least make it slower. Um, and then he'll probably oh he's paralyzed. That is unfortunate for him. Uh, I'd like to go in for U-turn because that will probably do the most damage, but this thing is just dead coming back in. Actually, it might be able to survive another Stealth Rocks. I'm just going to U-turn. That is what I'm going to do. As he goes for the Sucker Punch, which he probably should have done before, and he shows off Life Orb damage, which is always good to know, as um, I think I'm going to go into Fletchling. Actually, I'm going into Furry. I would like to get the spin off. I don't really know if he wants to save this, but knockoff will do a sizable chunk, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I do not want Pawneyard here. Pawneyard is, a th Pawnee yeah, Pawneyard is a threat. It really is. Especially in Little Cup, it's just so strong with its stab, knockoff, and uh, sucker punch. He might go for a sucker punch, no, he just withdraws expecting the spin block I mean not the spin block the um uh the rapid spin I'm gonna go for a poison jab <laughs> that barely does anything but we do get the poison as he goes for the will-o-wisp okay I can deal with the will-o-wisp because I have Floofy who can um take him out I mean not take him out recover that and that's what I think I'm gonna go into now because he won't be able to do much unless he has... He does have probably has Leech Seed as he goes for Synthesis. Um, I'm also scared of the explosion from this thing. <laughs> because explosion is a thing. I had I had made a very bad play against a Pumpkaboo before. I didn't know it got explosion because I'm not super familiar with the Pokemon. And I switched in my Snivy and it was just gone. Just gone. So, Explosion is helpful though if you just want to get rid of a pesky Pokemon or something that's a huge threat to your team. You just explode and it gets rid of it for you. Although Ploofy, um, Ploofy is really only strong, is really only good against his Manfu, but it could be helpful against Archon too because it can take some physical hits. It can take a lot actually. Um, it wouldn't be able to take an Iron Head from a Ponyard though. But I'm glad we got the poison. We've been getting lucky with the poison jab. I haven't gotten this many poison um, from the poison jabs in a very long time. So, yeah, I mean, we got two poisons, and I we got two Pokemon poisoned, and I only had to use it once. As he did get the um, burn off, which would half our, t our attack, which would normally be good, as he does go into the Ponyard. Um, hmm... What do I want to go in on this? I'm going to protect and see what he wants to do. He'll probably want to go in for a knockoff. Um, I'm predicting a knockoff. No, not knockoff. What am I talking about? Iron Head. Because <laughs> Iron Head would be enough to kill this thing. But he he's taking a very long time to pick out his moves. He waits until about 90 seconds each turn. So, yeah, we just kind of have to wait for him to decide. Um, so this video will probably be a little longer. So after this battle, I'm not going to do another one. Um, it'll just be two battles for this episode. As soon as he goes. As I'm guessing the iron... Oh, he goes for knockoff again. Hmm. I kind of just want to moonblast him. He keeps going for knockoff. I feel like he would have gone for the Iron Head by now, unless he was predicting a switch, and which he very well might have, because not many people would leave a Fairy type on a Steel type. But at least we'll get neutral damage off. Ploofy very well might go. To oh, he just switches. He just switches. It's very possible he maybe he didn't have the Iron Head, or he might have been choice banded possibly no he couldn't have been choice banded because he switched from knockoff to sucker punch against the apom um 
I think I'm just gonna go for another Moon Blast. I don't really know what this Pumpkaboo could do to me as he just, yeah, he just goes for Synthesis and he's pretty much at where he was before. So, I'm just gonna go for another Moon Blast. I don't know if we want to stay in or not. As he's just gonna keep going for Synthesis. Uh, as we get the special attack drop, but if he just keeps going for Synthesis, I mean, we have more HP than he does, but I, I'm kind of predicting that he's just going to keep going for Synthesis and kind of stall us out, which he won't be able to stall us out, so it's kind of pointless to keep going for Synthesis, to be honest. But we'll just have to see what he does. I, I do think he's going to go for Synthesis again. Um, I don't know if he wants this thing to go down. And he's just going to switch into Pawneered, which wasn't the best move because I will be faster since you are paralyzed and I can just take you out with a Moonblast at this point. Because Moonblast gets neutral covered, coverage over Pawneered because it's dark and steel. Steel resists it, but dark is super effective, so it's just it, it's neutral damage. And Spritzy does get decent special attack, which is always nice because a lot of like walls and stuff don't get very good special attack or regular attack, but he gets he gets pretty good special attack. Base 65, I believe. I'm pretty sure he gets base 65 last time. But he, um, he has 60 seconds now. He might just... I really hope this person doesn't, like, stall out the clock. Because I've had people do that and it's really irritating. But... He, okay, he does go for Sucker Punch, which does basically nothing, and he's just going to die from Life Orb. Um, oh yeah, I don't know, I was before talking about how it could be Choice Banded, but we saw the Life Orb damage earlier, I just forgot about it, to be honest. So well, let's see what he wants to go in. I don't know, he might want to do the Pumpkaboo. Uh, he has 40 seconds left, maybe he's just going to let the clock run out. But... Archon could be a thing, um, as I do have a feeling he's just going to let the clock run out at this point. I feel like he would have, no, nope, he does go in. Um, okay, I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast. Archon's really scary, but it ha kind of has a terrible, like, Defeatus is just, it's not the best ability. <laughs> Um, as he has the berry juice, because, I don't know, after you get, a, after a certain, like, below a certain HP point, your attack gets cut in half. So, I don't know. I don't think it's the best ability, but Archon is still really strong and very scary in Little Cup. As we take, we are taking these, ah, oh, we get, he gets the flinch. He gets the flinch! No. Okay, we're going to go for a wish on the off chance. I don't know if we can survive a rock slide, and we do not. Hmm. What do I want to do to this thing? Hmm. Like, he won't really be able to do much to Bronzor. So I'm going to set up Reflect, and he'll be doing even less damage. Even less damage, um, as if, if he has Rock Slide, like, Rock Slide will do nothing and neither will any flying type attacks. I don't, uh, oh yeah, we saw the Berry Juice, so he's not going to be banded or anything, so he can freely switch moves. As I'm kind of, I don't know what he's going to go for if he has really anything to hit me with. Um, he probably, I don't know, because I don't know what Archon get like what kind of moves they get, but I don't think he'll be able to hit anything very well because Bronzor is a solid stop to Pokemon like Fletchling and Archon because Archon have a pretty... Archon have, um... Archon have a pretty... They don't really have a huge move pool. But, I mean, they do get access to Earthquake, which would have taken me out, actually. Eh, it probably wouldn't have it would have done a sizable chunk as he goes for Hydro Pump, and I'm just going to set up a light screen. And what do I want to go in on this? Hmm, I don't, I do need this thing for this though. So, what do I want to take a hit? I don't want this to take a Hydro Pump. I don't know if Slither can handle a Hydro Pump, but Kastaria is pretty strong. Um. 
You know, I'm just going to leave. No, I need this for the archon. Because I don't really have anything for that unless I take it out. I mean, if I got some set, if I got some um, special attack boost on Snivy, I could probably take it. But since I don't, I'm just going to go for Psychic. I'm going to leave this in. Um, Hydro, Hydro Pump will be doing 24%, which is still a lot. And we do more with our Psychic, actually, to the Staryu. So yeah, I feel pretty good about just leaving this in. I'll just let this thing go down. As I won't have a huge... I won't really have a stop for the Archon. I'm just kind of... Um, I probably shouldn't actually have let that thing go down. Because Archon is scary. And I, it's not like I'll be able to take a hit now. And my other stop to it was also is also gone. But if I get an attack with Snivy and then an attack with Fletchling, I should be okay. As he's just going for recovers here. Maybe trying to stall out the um, the light screen. That makes me tempted to go into Snivy. Um, I'm not going to though. I want a safe switch into Snivy. As he does just go for the Hydro Pump. And I'm going to go for Snivy now actually. And because this thing hasn't gone for anything except Hydro Pump... It might be choice scar, choice um, choice specs, but I'm not sure. If he, he he'll probably switch out here as um I don't know why you would stay in on this unless you're just gonna sack it because Staryu gets really high speed and it also gets decent special attack actually, so it can be used either as a rapid speed Pokemon or as a offensive Pokemon. As he does just leave it in to die, and we do get the special attack. As our reflect wears off, but our light screen is still there. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this now. He might switch in Pumpkaboo. Even if he does, I think I'm just going to leave this thing in, though. Because it's poisoned. I mean, Leaf Storm, st or Leaf, Leaf, yeah, Leaf Storm still won't do that much to it, but we are at plus two. We, actually, we can take the rest of his team out, really. Um... I mean, I would like to get a Leaf Storm off of this, off on the Archon. And then if I do a lot of damage, or if I don't manage to take it out, I can just take it out with the Fletchling. As he does trace my, um, as he does frisk my Choice Scarf. And yeah, we're just going to take that out. We're getting the special attack. We, um, yeah, we're, do we're in a very good position here. Because we are Scarf, so we can outspeed whatever he decides to bring in. Unless this is Scarf 2, which is a possibility. And then it would be faster than us. But even then, as he just... He, he is Scarfed. And he goes for the Drain Punch. And I'm just going to go into Fletchling here. I will take this out with a Acrobatics. Unless he decides to switch out. Switch in... Archon, as he does just leave that in, um, I am just going to leave Fletchling in and take, we, we'll have to hit this thing with Poison Jab on the Drill Burr, which kind of stinks, kind of stinks, but I'm just, I have to go for an Acrobatics here, and hopefully we get the crit as he goes for his own Acrobatics. Actually, I don't know about this battle. We might end up losing. We might just end up losing here. I'm going to go for the poison jab. I really wish I had um, rock slide on this now. I kept changing up my ability. As he resists that, we get the poison. We get the poison. That will help us a lot. So this is going to be a close battle. We can take another acrobatics. And yeah, we can take one unless he gets a crit. He had Rock Slide, which won't be doing much, and I don't know what else he gets. As he has Roost, but he'll still take poison damage. Roost actually could be a problem. That actually might cost us, because he has reliable recovery, and he's just going to keep going for the Roost. So actually, we probably might lose. Actually, we probably will lose, because he, if he has Roost, yeah, he's just going for the Roost, and I have nothing else to hit him with. Um... That kind of sucks, because we can only take, like, one or two, like, two acrobatics. As, just kidding, we cannot take one. He must have gotten a high roll or a low roll on the last one. 
I mean, that did end up being a close um, match, but he did have the rear switch. I ended up costing us because we had no reliable recovery. Well, he did. And, yeah, it was still a good game, though. Oh, I didn't get to give him a good game before he left, but thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This will be the last of the Little Cup team I just used. So I'll probably go back to Little Cup eventually in the future, but I'm done for now. I'll go into a different tier next few episodes to, yeah, to just venture into other things, learn a little bit more about NU and RU, so I don't play those as much. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you thought on the comments below, or a like or a dislike, whatever you want. But bye, thank you again.